The story we're going to read today is called Officer Buckle and Gloria. The author of this book is Peggy Rathman. Have you ever been somewhere that a teacher or an adult told you what the rules for that place were? Maybe in a classroom at school or in a Sunday school class at church. Has a teacher ever told you that there were rules for the classroom? Why do we need rules for classrooms? Rules help keep people safe. Even adults have rules. They're called laws. In this book, Officer Buckle has lots of safety rules for the children at the school. He tries to teach them how to stay safe and healthy in their school. But at first, the children don't want to hear about it. Wait and see what happens when the children don't follow the safety rules. What do you think these stars are for? Can you see some of the stars here in the front, inside the front cover? They each have a rule on them. Wash your hands after you use the toilet. Never put anything in your ear. Obey all traffic signs. Never eat mayonnaise that's been sitting in the sun. Always pull the toothpick out of your sandwich. Never play with spray cans. Never take other people's medicine. Never play in the microwave oven. Never tilt your chair back onto two legs. Never play with matches. Never bother a big dog while it's eating. What would happen if you broke any of these rules? You could get hurt or get sick. Rules are important. This is the title page of the book. The title page tells us the name or title of the book again. Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. What just happened when in this picture? What happened just before the picture was drawn? Where does it look like Officer Buckle was standing before this picture was drawn? What happened while Officer Buckle was standing on a rolling chair? I bet he'll leave that as one of his new safety rules. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77? Never stand on a swivel chair. He learned that the hard way. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterwards, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. What is Mrs. Topple, the principal, standing on? What happened to the little boy who was walking near the water? What happened to the boy whose shoes were untied? And the boy who was behind the girl with the big stack of books? 
If they would just listen to Officer Buckle's safety tips, they would be a lot safer. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. She's such a good dog to obey the police officer's commands. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Why do you think the children sat up and stared? This time when Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one, when they've never listened before. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Do you think that Officer Buckle knew what Gloria was doing? Safety tip number two said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Why are the children listening so much better today than they usually do when Officer Buckle gives his safety tips? Do you think that Officer Buckle knows why they're listening? Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Ah! Why do you think the audience roared? Is the audience roaring something good or something bad? It means that they clapped and laughed loudly. Do you think Officer Buckle knows why they roared? Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of his tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. Remember after his last safety speech when he was leaving? There were lots of accidents happening as he was leaving. But it says this time, no accidents. Why do you think the children listen so much better this time? Do you think Officer Buckle knows what Gloria was doing and why the children listen so much better? The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. Did the kids really have to use their imagination to picture Gloria doing these things? This says, Dear Gloria and Officer Buckle, Thanks for coming to our school. You are nice. Your friend, George. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, 
You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. Has Officer Buckle ever had so much attention about his safety speeches before? Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. Why do you think the children are sitting up and listening now? After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. What is Gloria doing while Officer Buckle buys the ice cream? She's signing autographs. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. Has Officer Buckle ever seen a videotape of his safety speech before? See the news cameras that will put Officer Buckle on TV? What do you think will happen next? When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Why do you think the students jumped to their feet? Bravo! Bravo! They cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. This is Officer Buckle's television. He's watching the speech on the television. How does his face look? Look how wide open his mouth is and his eyebrows and how big his eyes got. In the mirror behind him, you can see that it that Officer Buckle is watching the TV and noticing that when he bows, that Gloria was doing motions too. I would say Officer Buckle looks shocked or surprised. Look at Gloria's expression. How is Gloria feeling? With her eyebrows up and her eyes to the side watching Officer Buckle, I'd say she looks worried. What do you think Officer Buckle will do now that he's seen what Gloria does behind him? If you were Officer Buckle, how would you feel when you found out that Gloria was the reason everyone was clapping? The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? So how did Officer Buckle feel when he found out that it was Gloria all the children were clapping for? He seems upset. 
maybe disappointed, maybe even a little jealous of Gloria and the attention she got. Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. Why didn't the students know the safety tips. Was Gloria able to tell them the safety tips? It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh! Everyone slid smack into Miss Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. What was Miss Topple standing on? What's going to happen to the hammer that she let go of? The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note, written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. What safety tip do you think Officer Buckle will come up with now? Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. So even though the children were laughing and clapping for Gloria, could Gloria do the speech alone? No, it's so important to have your friends. I hope that you'll remember some of Officer Buckle's safety tips. I also hope that you'll listen when a teacher or an authority figure at your school tells you the rules or the safety tips for the place where you're at. But more than anything, remember to always stick with your buddy. This book was Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman.